Now joined in the forum by two of our analysts, Jeffrey Crowden and Jacob Krasner. Welcome to the show today, guys. Thanks. Good to be here. All right, well, the women's basketball team lost their entire five starters from last year, but they were still able to make it to the second round of the NCAA tournament. So who gets the credit for this success, Jacob? Given the fact that the Lady Tigers basketball team was billed as a rebuilding project this season, I believe that much of the credit has to be given to head coach Van Chancellor. A winning tradition has followed Chancellor wherever he has been, as evidenced by his four WNBA championships and his Olympic gold medal in 2004. The 2008-2009 season, his second with the Lady Tigers, was no different. Chancellor was handed the reins to a team that was littered with talent, and there's no doubt that momentum from his final four appearance last season carried over into the 2008 campaign, which was a success thanks to Chancellor's coaching prowess. Yeah, Jacob, I have to agree with you. You know, Coach Chancellor did a phenomenal job this year recruiting this young talent and getting them to buy into the system. But you got to give all the credit in the world to these players. You know, you can do all the coaching in the world, but those players have to take heed to what you're preaching. You know, it's hard to win ball games, but this team rallied around veterans like Allison Hightower and Kristen Morris, you know, and they know exactly what it takes to make it to the Final Four, and that's what they should do. All right, well, fast forwarding to next season, they're actually going to return all starters not named Kristen Morris. So what do we expect of the Tigers next season, Jake? Jacob? Well, now that this young team has set the bar so high, I would expect a lot. The 2009 iteration of the Lady Tigers should pick up right where their 2008 counterparts left off. The women's basketball program is one that is laden with success, as it has been nearly 15 years since this program has seen a season in which it did not make either the NCAA tournament or the WNIT. I see nothing to suggest otherwise for next season, and I fully expect the Lady Tigers to make a lengthy postseason run especially if Coach Van Chancellor is able to land a good recruiting class. Definitely, you're right, Jake. If he's able to get recruit a nice uh, post player down low, this team, the sky's the limit. I see this team making it all the way until the Elite Eight next season. You know, I think this team overachieved this season, and just think next season they'll be a year older and they'll have tournament experience, not to mention Allison Hightower, who really had a coming out part in this year's tournament scoring 26 points in the first round game versus Green Bay and 21 in the second round against Louisville. I think that she will carry that performance into her senior season, and I think this team will be in the Elite Eight next season. All right, guys, we're moving to the baseball diamond. The team has just swept Harvard these past couple days. But this weekend, they have a much tougher matchup against Ole Miss. So what are your predictions for the weekend? And make sure a defender answer, Jeff. Well, my prediction for this weekend against Ole Miss is that LSU will buckle down and play well in front of the home crowd at Alex Box Stadium. After winning last week's series at South Carolina, the Tigers have proved that they can go on the road in the SEC play and come out with victories. Now they're 4-2 in the SEC right now, but the Tigers must be ready for Ole Miss, who are a top 25 ball club and are coming in with a little bit of momentum after beating Alabama. Well, top 20, 25 team or not, Jeff, I think it's Ole Miss that's got to be ready for LSU. Even though four of their five losses have come in Alex Box Stadium, there's no denying that this year's LSU baseball club is one to be reckoned with. Ole Miss and LSU are nearly identical when it comes to offensive production, so this series will inevitably come down to which team plays better defense. LSU ranks first in the SEC in both strikeouts per game and fewest walks per game, and is ranked second in hits allowed. Conversely, Ole Miss ranks near the bottom of the conference in all three categories. LSU will win this series, thanks to a superior pitching staff. All right, well, before I let y'all go, we got to talk some NCAA tournament basketball action coming up this weekend. So we're going to run our triangle offense. So for my first question, what do we think in any Sweet 16 upsets? Um, not the you Mary Claire. I think the top teams are going to take care of business, and they're all going to make it to the Elite Eight. Well, I think Syracuse is going to beat OU. All right, well, for my next question, who's your tournament MVP so far? I've got to give it to Ty Lawson. He has single-handedly led his team to this tournament on one foot. Well, I'm going to have to go with Blake Griffin from Oklahoma. You know, he's been the player of the year all season. You know, I think he's going to do a phenomenal job, but I think they're going to fall short against the Tar Heels. All right, well, last question, guys, real quick. What's your dream Final Four matchup? Uh, it has to be Duke versus North Carolina, and North Carolina taking that victory. I'm not surprised to hear that from you, Jeff. <laughs> I'm going to have to go Memphis-Louisville with a Conference USA showdown. All right, we'll see what happens this weekend, guys. Thanks for coming in and talking some basketball and everything with us. Now it's time for another commercial break, but when we come back, we'll have all of the action from last night. Stay tuned, you're watching Sports Showtime on Tiger TV. All right, there have been many ups and downs in the world of LSU sports this past week. But wins and losses didn't stop production on the field and court for our Athletes of the Week. Our Male Athlete of the Week is freshman pitcher Matty Ott. Ott has stepped up big lately for the Tigers, most recently in last Sunday's win over South Carolina. He pitched three perfect innings as his 2-1 on the year with a 1.02 ERA. Our female athlete of the week is junior guard Allison Hightower. Hightower showed her veteran leadership on and off the court throughout the season, including the NCAA tournament. In the two tournament games, 
LSU played in, she scored a combined 47 points, 6 rebounds, 8 assists, and 5 steals. Also, another note on Allison Hightower, she is nominated as one of the top 40 players for the State Farm All-American Award. But that's going to do it for us here at LSU Sports Showtime. You can catch the rebroadcast of this show on Tiger TV tonight at 6.30 and 10.30. Or if you're off campus, you can catch us on Cox Channel 4 at 11.30 and WBTR Channel 19 at midnight. You can also check us out on the web at www.tigertv.tv. From all of us here at Sports Showtime, have a great day. Shoot sports, show time in the towns, get the scoop on the ball and stay peak on the track. Key in on the field when them tigers attack. In fact, you get it back a few times a week. But it starts on Tuesday, third day of the week. They're beasts when they broadcast, increase like a fall class. Critique when I speak by my squad in the quad, man. Yeah, they the stars on the quad, man. That's the TBC, Tiger TVP. Every game, every start, every player, every situation. They facing the star in the making And you get it first exclusively Yeah, I know you're feeling me Who want the ladies on the CIG?